update 1.5 on the uh, vintage clock radio. I, this is 1.5 because it's basically just an update. I found another bad capacitor. This black one right here. And here's the 10 microfarad, 35 volt. It's reading 7.90. I did take it off the board and measure it, then I soldered it back on. But I'll remove it anyway. Capacitors are cheap. So there's three back capacitors so far. So I got them ordered. One board at a time. I'm concentrating on this one first because this is the main power board because this is the transformer. And you got the mains power coming in. And these red wires go into the transformer. Which is 120 going in. Then you got the two green ones which is probably about 16 volts AC. Or DC. I forget. One of the two. So, meanwhile, I was finally able to test the three transistors, these black things here. They tested out good. They're in the high 600 to 700 range. So, they work. So, those will go back in. What happened was, where I couldn't get a reading was I had the meter on the wrong setting. I'd never done this before, and I was going by this YouTube video where he said use the diode or ohm setting, OHM. So I thought those were both the same thing. Maybe on some meters, the diode and the ohms are the same thing. But on mine, they're separate. So, this is the Harbor Freight meter I was using. Because the only other voltmeter I have is analog. So, this setting right here by the on button looks like an arrow with a plus. That's diode setting, that's what you use for transistors and diodes. In my head, it was on the ohm setting over here, so I, and so I wasn't getting a reading because the dot these transistors need a little bit of voltage to work, and you don't get that from the ohm setting. So, so they check out. So those are good. So this is the capacitor meter. I'll give a slight demonstration of it. Get this thing to stay up. Stay. So. Ozzy's gonna be on his side, so. Now we'll start with the thousand one, right here. To measure these, your black test lead goes here, because you got the minuses. That's the negative, so that's where you, the black lead goes. This side is the positive. There's no writing here. That's your positive. Don't get them mixed up. So you're going to put the black lead on the negative. Now remember, this is a thousand microfarad capacitor. Watch the screen. That's what, for a thousand microfarads, it's reading about 851-ish. And it'll just keep, and it fluctuates around there. So, this one's weak. This one's a 470 microfarad. They're both 16 volts. This one doesn't want to give me a reading at all. So, this one's completely dead. See, either it gives me a zero, or I go OL for out of range. If I try to disconnect it, sometimes it will fluctuate. Right there, give me a quick five when I disconnected the negative. Now it goes to 15 when I reconnect it. So I'm getting faulty readings on this thing. And if that reading is true, obviously it's dead. So... So obviously, so one capacitor is weak, one's dead completely. And I got another one that's also weak, that 10 microfarad one. So. I got new capacitors ordered. But the question I got now is, 
You can see it not on here. Little bare metal there. Where I scorched it with the uh, soldering iron, removing the transistors. Is that going to come back to haunt me? Like the black part melted away. So like you see bare copper or whatever it is underneath this board. I know they can be repaired. You use some kind of special epoxy and then nail polish to like seal it. But will that uh, screw me in the end here? Like right here you can see it. Like part of the black. I don't know if that's insulation that melted away there. So I don't know if that's going to fuck me over or not. But. Try and get this damn thing working again. Because nothing works on it currently. So that's all I have for now. Once I get the new capacitors. I'll put them in and. See what the next step is.